have. The population of the world stands at something like 6 billion now, expected to rise to something like 9 billion in 2050. So we know that we've got many more mouths to feed. The fact that some people are throwing food away and some people are doing without food is totally and utterly unjustifiable. The figures that come out of RAP, RAP's the, it's the Waste and Resources Action Programme, it's the government delivery body on waste. They produce some figures uh, for different sections of um, the UK and the amount of waste that they're producing. Uh, they estimate that two thirds of all food waste arises in households, about 27% arises at manufacture, and about uh, well, it's just under 7% arises at retail. We found householders in the UK waste 8.3 million tonnes of food. So that's a huge impact. Any idea how much 8.3 million tonnes is? Um, a lot. Yeah, a lot. I have no idea how much it is. All I know is it's like, oh, somebody here might. Go on. I know. Does anyone know the Wembley Stadium? Yeah. yeah. How big is that? Big. Really big. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's massive. OK, so if I filled that eight times with food, that's how much we throw away per year. <gasps> that's a lot, isn't it? I believe we have a huge responsibility to look after the resources that we have left in the world. Um, and every time I think about it, I'm horrified about the amount of time and energy put into food um, and the resources that it takes to create that food and put it on your plate. I'm horrified to think that that would go to waste. Because we live in aff fairly affluent times, I think we forget to respect food. And, um, I mean, food is so readily available, whether it's seasonal or not, um, it is always around. We can always just pop down to the shops and, and get something, even if it's out of season. Um, whereas, for instance, with my parents, um, they grew up in the era of um, just after the Second World War. And, of course, there were rations and what have you, and things were just a lot tougher. You see, we weren't allowed to waste anything. I mean, there was a big poster around up in the War Museum where I, I work up there at Voluntary. It was, waste not, want not, and I think it's a well-known saying, but you daren't waste any food because, you're, you know, Mum would say, well, you can't waste that, you've got to eat that. That's hard to come by. And now, what I say to, I've said to the children growing up and the grandchildren, don't waste it. You've never gone through the war like I have and a lot of us. We could not afford to waste the food. We had to eat it, so don't even think of putting that in the bin. Unfortunately, I think a lot of people tend to forget what it takes to produce the food in the first place. Um, I mean, we're talking about tending the land. We're talking about um, producing the food on the land, maintaining it, uh, transporting it keeping it the right temperature, displaying it in the shops, getting us to the shops. Um, all of those things take up energy and resources. And so it's not just the little bit of food that's sitting on your plate, it's the huge wider picture. And I think that's incredibly important to remember when we're talking about food waste. It's very important for us to reduce waste primarily um, rather than just recycle waste. Um, so what I do is try and get that message out there. As soon as they find out what it is that you're talking about and what, you're trying, what the message is that you're trying to get across, they become very, very interested and they're very, very keen to um, try and rectify that, try and learn as much as they can um, and get something out of the campaign, get something out of the education. Love Food, Hate Waste is just a really modern way of saying use your common sense, plan, a bit of creativity. It's about using what you have in your cupboards rather than going out and buying more of the same stuff. And it can save you 500 quid a year, which is absolutely fantastic. We need to be more effective at communicating with consumers that they're simply throwing money out of their own pocket, regardless of the environmental impact, regardless of whether they care or not about climate change, regardless of whether they believe in climate change. They're throwing money away by wasting their own food. So if we can educate people to buy properly, maybe you know, do a shop twice, three times a week, as opposed to going and getting one of those humongous trolleys and have it overflowing because it's a bit more convenient, it's just all about education and it's, it is very difficult because people lead such very busy lives. At the end of the day, you've got that 
and you've got that, they'll tell you if it's right or if it's wrong.